Hey everyone, in this tutorial, we will learn how to render matte object using Karma and phantom object. We will also check how to render shadow pass. So without further ado, let's get started. Let's go to stage and create grid, sphere and box. This is old school example, which is easy to understand. So let's create camera. To render this in Karma, we have to use this Karma node. It will create these two nodes. First Karma settings and second we have this USD render row. So here we can mention all those rendering parameters, path, camera and everything. And here we have to just select frame range and render to disk. So to render this in viewport, we have to just go over here and render. This looks nice. Let's create light from this angle. Yeah. So now we have this perfect. And I prefer adding this before camera so I can see it. Lights, camera and action. Great. So let's start with force object. And before using any force object or phantom object, I prefer using null before. So you can just name this as a stage input or something, right? So stage and let's give it this color and change the shape also. Right, so here we will add objects, lights and camera everything. But after this, we can use force object, force light or something, right? So, and we can also create multiple karma nodes also if you want to render separate objects, right? Let's start with force object. For that, we need this prune. And before using this prune, we have to set a name properly because that's what we will read. Here we can change this to Silaris. Great. So you can see here we are getting all those names over here. And let's just use this and start rendering. Great. So here I want to force, just want to render sphere. So let's just, here I have to just mention the path. Select like this and paste over here. At the moment, it will exclude that objects. But now we have to just invert this, means we have to include that object so here we have this option prune unselected so it will just render that sphere only and i prefer dark background let's hide the grids great so let's just rename this cool right so this is how we can just force any object right we can just render its cube or grid right so that's how we can just force this object and after that, let's check how we can cut mat any object, right? So here I want to use this box as a cut mat. So let's just delete this and let's use render settings for mat objects. As I said, it's a cube. Right. So whatever I'm going to make changes over here in terms of motion blur, shading or something, it will just apply on this geometry only. So let me just scroll down and yes, so I have that option and hold out mode. So if I create and see that I have that matte option. So now you can see it's creating shadow over here, but it's cut matte. And to check out the alpha, you can just go over here and render this. And yes, this looks better. So now let's stop rendering from the viewport. Right, so you can check alpha right but i am getting this next let's check how we can render this box as a phantom object so i don't want to cut out everything i just want to use this as a phantom object so for that let's again we have to use this render settings and just name this phantom right so awesome and again we here we have to use this render visibility so now we have all these options phantom right so if I use this and let's render this. Great. So now we it's not cut mat, but you can say here that it's creating shadows and everything. And next is very interesting. I want to create shadow. So let's just render this everything. Right. So you can see here that this is working fine. I want just shadow only, right? So how do I just render shadow? So to render shadow here, we can get that in AOVs and let me show you that. 
let's go over here and we have to mention matte object so here on which surface we need shadow so that's grid right so here we have to mention a matte object is a grid so that's where it will cast shadows so let's use grid and if i scroll down i have this hold out and create and it's matte object and let me just start so it's not visible in render right to add shadow as a AOV, we have to just select karma settings and image output and here we can add extra EOVs. so let me just create so here you can just name anything you want but source name is the main thing that you need to mention so let's just write this and source type is LPE and after that it's a vector so we will use this color vector so these things we have to change and now if I render so we will get shadow OV. right so we are getting shadow but here if I select this I have these two options matte object and background what does it mean so if this is the geometry I have right so let me just merge this big head let's just reduce the size of pig head yeah. okay so let me just show you what it's there so we have this pig head over here let's go up and render this you will notice that we are getting some different output and what's happening over here this object itself it will cast its own shadow if this is part of this object it shouldn't cast its shadow right in those case it's better to use as a background so it won't cast its own shadow so this is the pig head shadow but it's not there but now it's casting the on pig head so that's how we can just use and just let me just clarify this even more so let me just remove box for now and let me just show you let's see here i am not getting that but if i use this just matte it will create that shadow as well so you can just check the difference before after so these are the things that you can use so i prefer using background And next we will render four slide. So let's just check how we can do that. Okay, I don't want this anymore. Great. Suppose we have multiple lights in the scene and it's just, it can be a dome light as well. So for some particular reason, I don't want to render dome light in this. So for that I can use light mixer and I can easily mention over here, hey, I don't want to use this, just disable that if I want to use, don't want to use this, I'll just disable it. Maybe it can be useful in casting shadow only. So I want to cast shadow from this light only, right? So these are the basic things I feel it's important to know. Hope you like this and see you next time.